Hi, it's Harriet from Poor Tasty Glam Dog Adventures and I'm here with another video. So I'm going to talk to you about the three tips to manage your multi-dog household. So first one, spend quality time with each of the dogs individually. So I always walk my dogs individually. Yes, it does take up some of the day, but um, I am giving each dog um, the playtime, training, walks, you know, especially if you've got different breeds. So obviously Finn is a, a Labrador cross with a German Shepherd and Rose is a um, working Springer Spaniel. So they need different things. They need breed specific um, activities. And for me to give them what they need, you know, I, I need to do that kind of individually. Number two is try not to let all your dogs eat together, sleep together. You want them to be independent from one another. This means that they're not going to rely on each other. So if, you know, the worst thing happens, especially if you've got an older dog, because if something happens to that older dog, that younger dog is going to, is going to really, you know, going to struggle eating. It's going to struggle going out for walks. So you want everything done kind of individually, really. Number three is make sure you have management in place. So that could be crates, that could be baby gates, that could be like a separate room, especially if you are finding that um, some of your dogs, you know, are having a conflict. Because obviously it's just like us, you know, if, if, if you're like living together, um, you know, you're obviously going to have conflicts, you know, no matter what, really. Um, and also, if someone, if, if one of them's ill, um, or they just might need a bit of space, or you want a bit of time out, or um, you, you know, you want to stop them playing, it's just really, really good to having these things in place. Now, I know what it's like <laughs> having a second dog. You know, it is double the trouble. Um, so if you are struggling with a multi-dog household, then yeah hit me a message um, or uh, fill out a contact form on my website and get in touch. And I'd love to help you. Bye.